time for the pick a card reading. Today's pick a card reading is What is Your Life Purpose? We have the first deck with the Selenite Crystal. If you're drawn to this crystal or this pile, then this message is for you. The second pile is the Rose Quartz. If you're drawn to this crystal, then this pile is for you. So let's get started. Pile one with the Selenite crystal. Selenite is for angelic communication, high vibrations, um, angelic vibrations. So you may have been getting angel numbers. Um, you may have been getting guidance or you may be guided by an archangel or a guardian angel at this time. Okay, so let's see what you guys have. I shuffled from one, two, three, four, five different decks, two different tarot, three different um, oracle, um, one of them being life purpose. So the first one we have is body work. Your life purpose involves body work such as massage therapy, energy healing, physical therapy, or exercise training. Okay. So something to do with the body and making, you know, the body feel good, feel healthy. Um, I also see a lot of blue and green here. With the blue and the green, I feel like you need to work more on your heart chakra. You're a very communicative um, person, very verbal, very out there. I feel like you wear your heart on your sleeve, um, even though the heart is shaped in the back of, you know, in his back. So I feel like um, you take a lot of things to heart and when you do, it affects your body. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Time to decide. So Spirit is saying it's time to decide what your life path is. Okay, time to decide whether you're prepared or not to make a decision based on your heart's true desires. And like I said before, all of these right here are numbers. So you may have been seeing a whole bunch of different numbers, like I'm seeing number five, six, nine, and one, um, and two. So those, those are the numbers that were coming to me. So those may be the numbers that you're seeing, and also three, 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 um, 444 four, four, and 111 or 1111. I'm not sure if it's 111 or 1111. Um, let's see what else you have here. Teaching. You inspire young people to learn. So some of you may be a teacher or want to be, aspi aspire to be a teacher or a mentor of some sort. You may be a physical trainer, um, high intensity or low intensity. Um, I feel like this is high interval. Um, you may be teaching people nutrition, you know, about, you know, their bodies, um, how to communicate, you know, their feelings. Um, so you may be a therapist, um, teaching different methods and strategies to cope with life and, you know, be able to make decisions. Let's see what else we have here. Family. Loving your friends and family is central to your life purpose. So definitely being a mother or a father or just a parent, um, because there are different genders out there, um, how people identify. Um, but yes, like, I feel that, you know, being a family-oriented person, um, you may have grew up a lot with a whole bunch of brothers and sisters, or have a big family, or you may have um, nephews and nieces now, or even godchildren, and they are your world. Talk to your angels. Instead of worrying, ask for the divine guidance. So, like I was saying, um, in the very beginning, I felt like with the Selenite crystal, this has a lot to do with it. You know, communicating with the higher ups, communicating with your guardian angels, communicating with the archangels, communicating with your ancestors, you know, the, the divine, the higher up, you know, the higher power, whatever you call it, um, it's saying right now, don't lose faith. I know it's a very hard, critical time right now, and it seems like you're having a lot of choices and decisions to make, especially around your family, especially around, you know, health and teaching how to be healthy to, you know, your family and your children um, or the little ones around you. 
Um, and Spirit is saying that they're guiding you, they're protecting you, you know, they're just asking you to ask for help, and they will be there on go. Okay, we have three more for the life purpose that you're on the right path. Keep doing what you're doing because it's working. Okay, so obviously if you have clicked on this video to watch this video, you're on the right path. You are receiving the messages that you need to receive today. Um, and Spirit is saying, take that um, with discernment. Um, your third eye may be blocked or, you know, there may be a lot going on in your mind, in your subconscious mind. There may be dreams trying to come through and it's coming out pretty foggy. I'm hearing you need to drink some more water. I'm hearing some more green and orange based colored foods. Um, and please, you guys, if you are about to eat any produce, please spray it down. I know it's crazy, but like you have to spray it down or wipe it down. Um with any um, disinfectant and then wash it off um, before you consume the vegetables or um, fruits, okay? That's only to, to kill off the bacteria that's on the fruit. If you wanna do it a safer way, um, a eco-friendly way, uh, you can use either vinegar um, to wash off you know, the bacteria or you can use, if you don't want to sour your, your fruit, um, you can use peroxide to disinfect as well, okay? Um, there's many different ways to disinfect and very cheap ways as well and affordable ways. Please stay safe, you guys. Um, moving on to the next. Music. Your connection to music is healing for yourself and others. It's really funny because I was trying to decide what I wanted to put on top of the decks. And I had a guitar pick. And I saw this, and I wanted to pick both, um, but Spirit guided me to this, but now I understand why i seen a guitar pick, and there's also a violin here, so somebody, somebody may be a violin, vi uh, I can't even speak today, a violinist, um, or even learning how to play the guitar for the first time, um, I feel like you are growing in a very fluid type of way. Um, and why I said fluid is because music is frequency and frequency evolves. You know, it is the most perfect butterfly out here because it can evolve in different languages. It can evolve in different styles. It can evolve into anything. Honestly, you can dance to it. You can listen to it. You can sing along. Um, so there's many different, and you can even watch it, you know, music videos. So it, it can evolve. And I'm hearing that you're evolving. Your family is evolving. Everything is changing around you because you're evolving. Um, the last message here is practice. So yeah, it, it probably goes with the music. Um, someone may be drawn to this because they may be an artist. They may be a singer, a rapper, um, or actually create beats and music and stuff like that. And they're saying invest your time in that. Focus on your body. Focus on your family. And you're on the right track. Everything that's going on around you is just a learning experience. So that way you can teach it on to the younger ones. Okay. Let's see what else do we have here. We're going to pull these guidance out for later. And we're going to pull the tarot. We have the Knight of Swords coming in, so there is some type of message here. Knight of Wands in the reverse. I'm sorry, Nine of Wands in the reverse. So I feel like the message here is some of you stopped working on your life purpose. You took a break. You started waiting, um, and then you started debating whether you wanted to do it again. And now you're trying to find the momentum I'm hearing and the determination to put everything together for your life purpose you know there's a lot of fogginess here with the volcano smoke but because it's volcano it's hot it's fiery um, I feel like it's more active now so you went from a dormant sleep to something more active when it comes to your um, life purpose we have the walking away card oh my gosh uh, with the Eight of Cups. So you definitely were thinking about walking away from your life purpose at some point. Um, but now you're ready to grow 
and you're ready to evolve and you're ready to show who you are and you're ready to explode with, um, I'm hearing fame or recognition, acknowledgement. Um, and I'm hearing this is something that you truly desire as well. We have the four of wands here in reverse. So what that tells me is, again, you need to focus more on your family. Um, this may be growth of family. This may be, uh, some deep emotional instability in the family that needs to be recognized and acknowledged before it starts to get covered up with the clouds. Um, so they're, they're saying pay attention to that. Uh, we have the devil card here in the reverse. So if you have been having um, feelings of drinking or feelings of gambling or spending um, or even feeling like you're trapped and not... Um, capable or able to get out of the situation that you are right now um, because time deciding is here with the devil in the reverse it's saying things may seem worse than they appear um i also feel like there are there's some money coming towards you that you are not expecting um so be vigilant on that as well if you are um a Capricorn, I feel like it's time for you to get out of that toxicity and ground yourself and start, um, I'm also hearing cleansing yourself and give some self-love to yourself because you have the capability to do anything you want to, um, but it looks like you're not fighting for it. All right, we have the sun here in reverse. So yeah, you may have gone through a very depressive time. Um, I'm also kind of feeling like this is the energy that you should channel. You should channel that Leo energy, that um, that sun energy, that, um, that hot, fiery energy. So in order for you to pick up that momentum, right? Um, I'm also seeing possible birth here um, of a child. Um or some significance with a child. So you may be making music with your children or, you know, your family is um, very talented musicians and, you know, they know how to sing or they know how to rap and they are very indelved in that type of um, work or even nutrition and stuff like that. Um, we have Queen of Cups here. The Queen of Cups is telling me, again, there's some deep feelings that are needed to be addressed, right? I see her foot very close to the water, but she's holding the cup. And so in the cup, there is, it's like a, a, what is that called? Like a chast or something like that. Um, she's holding this, this really big cup and in there there's water, right? But there's a lot and it's heavy. It's heavy and it's weighing heavy on her, um, so I feel like you're you're channeling this heavy energy, um, but you're also wanting to direct the energy in a happy way. You're you're wanting to work on something. You're wanting to achieve something. I feel like this is something that you put a lot of work into with all of these pebbles here and rocks by her feet. This is heavy for you. This is something that also grounds you emotionally, um, and this is something that is going to. Um, be guided in divine guidance because I see the three baby angels. Also, this can be someone is pregnant um, with, dare I say, it, either twins, a child, or three children. Um, this person may already have two children and find out that they're pregnant. Um, if you're a male, then that means that this woman is your partner and spouse. So be wary of that. We have the four of wands here. Now, the four of wands is right on top of the four of freaking wands. Do you see this? Four of wands on top of the four of wands. So yes, this is something that you really want. This is something that is going to achieve happiness, recognition. It's going to ground you. It's going to bring your family together. Um, I'm seeing some kind of marriage or ceremony happening for you guys this year as well. Let's see, we have the Wheel of Fortune, and it's in towards your favor because it's in the upright for you. Um, and so what this means is, is things are starting to turn in your favor when it comes to your life purpose. 
um, especially when it comes to your family and working on your health and just learning from your um, spiritual experience. We have two more. We have the tower. So you recently went through a tower moment, okay? And this tower moment, I feel like... Actually, I feel like this tower moment is about to happen with the two of wands. There's a decision that you need to make, okay? And this decision is really time to decide. Two of wands, right on top of time to decide. It's time to decide. And this decision is going to feel... And move things around in the physical world for you, okay? But things are going to turn in your favor. It's going to move very quickly. Very, very, very quickly. But let me tell you, it's happening for a reason. We have surrender to the divine. We have meditate and contemplate. So you have to get out of being always in your head and get into the spiritual meditative state to actually make these decisions and decide okay they're saying surrender to the divine so if something is being offered to you something is coming for you it's coming for a reason and it is a gift okay with these these two fish it's a cycle you're breaking a cycle with the tower card underneath you're breaking that cycle this cycle is unknown this newness is is very scary to you but they're saying that the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. Power is over top of the wheel of fortune. Guess what? You have power over the situation. We have believe. We have go with the flow. And we finally have peace. So I feel like your life purpose, you're already on the right track. It's really about um, obtaining that dedication and determination again. Um, I'm hearing pick up momentum, pick up momentum, keep it going, keep it flowing like water. Um, and even if it's a small wave of water and then a big wave, it does not matter. What matters is, is that you're putting in all you got with your energy and your power of your life purpose. You're believing in yourself and you are at peace in your heart with it. Okay. That's what I got for you, Pile One. Alright. We're going to move forward to Pile Number Two, which is this rose quartz right here. Very pretty. Smooth stone. And we're going to go here with your life purpose. The very first card is Artist. Engaging in artistic activities is beneficial to your career and every other area in your life. Wow, so no wonder I was feeling like um, grabbing my guitar pick earlier to put on top of one of the piles because both of these are similar. Um, the first one was more music related. This is art related. So maybe someone that can paint, sketch, draw, or um, be able to make like collages, I'm hearing, um, DIY type of activities, and also writing. I'm, I'm hearing writing as well. Um, justice is here. Your career brings fairness and protection to others who need your help. So maybe you're a very creative person that is always trying to figure out how to help other people and shine their light and your light at the same time. Um, maybe you're a very expressive person who protects other people and stands up for other people. Um, I feel like this is, together, I feel like this is a combination of activism for your life purpose. For some of you, you, you may be an oracle card reader or a tarot reader, as I am, you know, and you may be as gifted as much as to be a medium um, or an intuitive psychic. So I would say look into that a little bit more. Um, leadership, take charge of the situation. You are a leader. You're not a follower. Um, but I do, I do feel like this is the emperor energy, right? Because you are a leader, not a follower. But I feel like you're always guided and you always think of other people before yourself. And so that 
is what makes a great leader. That is what makes a great role model. That is what makes a great um, person to follow. All right. We're going to pull the tarot now. We have Queen of Wands here in the reverse. So some of you may be a fire sign that is feeling out of their element. Um, feeling like they cannot express themselves. Feeling like they are not in control. Feeling like um, you may not be getting intuitive messages. Clearly feeling like... Um, Things are not going right for you and everyone else. <sighs> I feel like everyone else is um, benefiting more than you are. And that's the kind of energy that you're feeling. We have the Seven of Wands here in the upright. And so you're very defensive. You're very fearful. You're very, um, not fearful, but I feel like very skeptical about people and how close they're getting and you, you want your personal space, I'm hearing. You can't express yourself because you want your personal space. Um, you, if Some of you, you can't get any intuitive messages because you need your personal space, but you're not putting your foot down and saying this. Um, pages of one here in the reversed, right? And so what this tells me is that passion is starting to die down. That passion that you had for your life purpose is starting to die down. And Spirit is saying, what the heck is going on? Because, you know, just because you're getting more recognition around you and some of the recognition is not good, that doesn't mean that you turn off your light. That means that you project it even brighter to show who else is in the darkness trying to pull you down. Um, we have the death card here in reverse. So there's a cycle ending here for a fire sign. And it, the ending has to do with some kind of burden. Um, let's see here. We have the seven of pentacles clarifying the queen of wands. And so what that tells me is, is that this energy... And, and mind you, you do not have to be a fire sign. Um... We are in Aries energy right now, so that means that we are pulling a lot of fiery energy, and wherever Aries is, is in wherever Aries is in your chart, <laughs> I'm sorry, um, it will affect that area in your life. So I would say go to Astro Cafe and get your birth chart and figure out your Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Um, because this is very important, especially when you're getting readings like this. Um, the Ace of Cups here in reverse. So there is, okay, there is neglect of self-love here. There is neglect of self-love here. There is neglect of self-love here. This burden here that is going to be dropped, because it will be, because this is an ending, okay? Um, this burden that's going to be dropped or this ending because of this burden is because you're not paying attention and investing, okay, or even caring about investing in yourself at this time. And your light is dimming down. Your light is dimming down because of it, okay? We have the walk away card. Eight of Cups. Come on now. Synchronicities. These people, this energy that's around you is no go. No go. No good. You got to drop that burden. This is the end of the cycle. So if this is a, a partner that it relates to or a job that it relates to or family that it relates to, whoever it applies to, however it applies to, you need to drop that burden, okay? You need to drop that heartache because I feel like there is double moon energy here, full moon and crescent moon, and they're, they're both um, about release. They're both about letting go, right? Um, but I also feel like there may be some type of monetary gain or benefit or some something coming in from the divine once you decide to love yourself. So once this Ace of Cups goes doo -doo 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 -doo, to the Ace of Cups in the upright, you're going to get an offer. This can be a love offer or this can be a gift of, you know, um, love and light and stability and clarity uh, from the universe, okay? 
but they're saying you need to invest in yourself and stop contemplating about whether or not you should love yourself and walk away from this situation. Let's see what else we have here. You are good enough. Look at this. Synchronicities. You're good enough. Yeah, you're good enough. You need to choose yourself and walk away. Conclusions are within reach. See, as soon as you, you pick that cup for yourself, that cup, let me tell you, is going to run you a whole river. A, person, a personal issue reaches resolution. Wow, full moon in Cancer. So this is definitely um, some very watery energy, very emotional, deep energy that needs to be released, okay, in order for you to walk back in the path of your life purpose. There's two... I feel like for some of you, you have grabbed onto everything in your life, um, in your spiritual path as you're growing to your life purpose. And all those little things that were supposed to teach you something, you're holding on to. And now you can't hold on to the big staff that you are rewarded at this time. You understand? You are at, at a very um, expansive period. You're through an ascension period right now. You need to walk away in order to obtain that new gift, that new blessing from the universe. Um, we're seeing light here, clarifying you are good enough. Um, we have inspiration, clarifying conclusions are within reach. So I feel like you're going to have an epiphany. I feel like you're going to be like, oh yeah, you know what? I am good enough. Or you know what? I'm not going to tolerate this shit no more. Or you know what? I've given too much of myself to this situation and nothing is coming out of it and it's cynical. Um, wow. Guess what's clarifying a personal issue reaches solution? Beginnings. We saw the death card here and beginnings. So something is going to end and some something's going to begin when it comes to your spiritual journey. This can mean that you may end up breaking up with someone or breaking off, you know, from a contract or a job or a career in order to move properly into your life path and purpose. Well, that was your reading pile too. I hope that you enjoyed this. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, follow, share, invite. If you would like to donate to my YouTube channel, my link is above. Please go ahead and um, inbox me or email me or text me if you're interested in any of my services, in any of um, the things that I offer in my shop. As Actually, let me grab this. I am offering something brand new in my shop. And this brand new thing is this beautiful box. Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm going to be creating boxes like this. Yes, I paint them myself, hand-drawn myself. Um, and I usually grab, like, inspirations from, you know, different uh, paintings and stuff like that. And that's what I do. So... This box is a fairy box. I have not finished this um, fairy, but this is specifically for one of my dearest friends. And I'm going to actually be selling boxes like this, different styles, different setups and stuff like that um, for about $50. And they're going to be packed in with any of the um, herbs that you, herbs or oils that you would like to purchase so I have lovers rice here so if you want to connect with a lover or you want to spice up your relationship I have that there I have road opener rice here I have money in the bank rice if you're trying to do healing work I have healing herbs um, this you can make in the form of a tea a bath um, or even put on your candle as well um, and then I have here, these little tiny bottles are $3.33 um, plus shipping. But this is healing oil. I'm also stocking up with protection oil um, for psychic protection. 
and I'm also going to have some ancestor oil and archangel oil so if you're doing readings or if you just want to be protected by you know your archangels um, you can dab some of that oil before you leave your home or if you're at your home whatever you would like but if you're interested in that this is my contact information Mika Star. You can book a reading through text message or phone call or email. Email is rain, rainbowpeople.connect at gmail.com. And then my Facebook name is Mika Star Psychic Love Healer. Okay. I do offer Reiki. I do offer tarot therapy. I also offer mediumship and healing. It's up to you. And also root work. So, it was nice talking to you guys and sharing this energy with you all. Please like, comment, subscribe, and let me know how you like this video.